Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to make a simple and tiny breakout board for NeoPixels, which are quite modular, so you can stack and daisy chain them easily like this. And they are also breadboard friendly. For this project, I used WS2813 LEDs and not the traditional WS2812 NeoPixels, because according to the application diagram in the datasheet of WS2813, it does not require any external capacitors or resistors which will reduce a lot of hassle. I bought the LEDs from lcsc.com. This site is reviewed and recommended by great Scott and Dave from EEV blog. The link to LEDs is in the description. Price will vary according to the quantity. I bought little over 150 LEDs at 0.085 dollars each. A pretty good deal. Now about the breakout board. For this, I used JLC PCB. Now because our PCB is only 10 by 8 millimeters, we have to panelize it, which is really easy to do. Upload the PCB Gerber files, which you can download from the description. And after scrolling down, you will see some options for customization. One of them is panelized by JLC PCB. Click on yes button and type the number of PCBs you want in X and Y direction per panel. I chose 9 in X and 9 in Y. That means 81 PCBs per panel. And there are 10 panels, so 810 individual PCBs for 12 something dollars. This is how the PCB panel looks. Just snap the panels to obtain tiny individual breakout boards for the LED. Now with a fine tipped soldering iron, solder the LEDs onto the PCB like this. And you're good to go. You can even stack and solder them like this without even using any wires. So what you can make with these tiny modules is up to your imagination. Thanks for watching and have a great day.